Hey guys, I'm finally back with another video because um, I did a thing and I have been still super busy with work and like, I mean super busy. Like this month, four people are leaving. Like by next week we'll be four people short. We have one person trained in, but so yes. Sorry, it's hot in here. And I have been talking for the last, well, I've been up for a while, yakety yakking. I just got back from grandma's and she, she likes to talk, so <laughs> I don't know if it's such a good idea to make a video, but I have been waiting all day, all freaking day to open a package that I got woken up from a nice, well, I called it my nap, but I overslept my nap, so I was sleeping. I got home at... 12 30, midnight last night, 12.30, and um, was up at 7.30, and went to the post office to get a package, <laughs> and um, I've been running around since then, and I just got back, it is 9.54, it's almost 10 o'clock at night, so I've been up since 7.30, wanting to open this package, and now it's 10 o'clock at night, so it's been a while, so I've been waiting patiently, and now I can finally open it, but before I open it, let me just tell you, I love the junkie spot because I was so shocked that this shipped so quickly. On Thursday, I just, out of the blue, because I've been looking on Instagram at everybody's uh, owner pictures of all the resin souls, like, oh, the woo, I got them all in my hand here, the, the, what do you call them, MSD skulls, the woo, the Jin, the Jun, Jun, and the Ming. In the little 40 and 40 centimeter scale and my favorite size is SD but for some reason with resin sole I love their MSDs and it's because when you customize them yourself they're incredible like I all those pictures it's like oh I want those four like oh so I looked on junkie spot to see if they had them and of course you know they just got stock in on July 1st or the, yeah first I think so they had some in stock and I was just like which one do I get but then I was thinking but but I really in my heart I love SDs the most like SDs are my size so I'm thinking hmm which of those do I like because some of those are in stock so I like the Apollo mainly because of Sarah Swan's um you know What's his name? Um, oh dear God. You know who I'm talking about. Sarah's Apollo. Um, what's his name? He's like my favorite too. Oh my God. You know who I mean. I'll think of it in like a couple minutes and blurt it out. Anyway. Um, oh, I'm going to be so distracted now. What's his name? <laughs> oh my God. No, just kidding. Um, it starts with A2, doesn't it? Oh, dear God. How do I... Oh, anyway. So I wrote that on my hand, but not... Whatever. The point is... So, uh, an Apollo, because I admire hers. And I think it'd be fun to customize him. And then... Uh, and by customizing, I mean finally get off my ass and do it. That's what I mean by customizing. Like, I want so badly to paint somebody or try to paint somebody and I have a lot of dolls and some of them are blank but I cannot force myself to experiment on them until I for sure know I'm gonna do a good job because I feel bad when I screw up like I feel terrible because I tried once one time I tried to do a face up on my resin soul song and completely butchered it and I think that scarred me for life because it was horrible. And now I prefer him blank just because maybe because I screwed up so badly and he didn't look so great. So I prefer him blank, which is not a good thing. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yes. So <laughs> the SDs and the resin soul that I like, and he's a Bobobi. Apollo's a Bobobi, but Azu. Her Azu. That's who. Okay. So Apollo. Bobby Apollo, I admire them a lot. And I was looking at 
owner owner photos on Instagram and God, there's so many nice ones. There's so many ni nice ones. And then um, the Resin So Long, which they did not have in stock because I probably would have gotten him just because I have, I'm a sucker for elves and I've always, always admired that sculpt. And I kind of want to try that body for hybriding my floating heads. And you can't just get the bodies, I don't think, through Junkie Spot. Maybe through Denver Doll, but they have a long wait lately. So I thought, maybe I can get one in stock and just try a head on the body or whatever. But they didn't have one. So that one's still kind of in the works. And then, my third favorite. Actually, I don't know if it, they're in order of favorite. Because I just love all... Resin Soul does amazing work, guys. I'm not even kidding. So it's hard to choose. And for them to make me love MSDs so much, like, ugh, I want so many of their MSDs and they're not my favorite size. So that just baffles me because what am I going to do with a bunch of little dolls that don't really have a story, but that I want to customize because <laughs> I want to try and make one of my own. Because once you do that, they are, they're just, they're so special. You know what I mean? Um, now I got sidetracked again. Okay. So because I like the Ming, I'm like, I love the SD scale hoof guy, the Move. And they had one in stock. So I bought a resin soul Move. Long story short, I got one. Because in my head, that is the only doll that I've ever seen. Like, I've seen the, the pictures on the website. And resin soul lately they updated their... um photos I don't know who who did that but there's like alternative stylings on there and they look really good and for some reason the photo with the really blue sparkly eyes with the the is it moo the moo hat on that on the junkie spot just I love that but out of all of the sculpts I've seen since I started the hobby like when I close my eyes and visualize something that is the only one that I think I could have a chance of customizing myself because I can picture him in my head. The other ones that I have that are blank and stuff, I don't know what they're supposed to look like because they're supposed to be characters of mine. And for some reason, when I write a story, I cannot visualize who the main character is while they're like doing stuff. I don't know what they look like. And it drives me nuts. So, I don't know what my problem is. So that's that's kind of yeah crazy but that is the moo is the only 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 sculpt that i've seen since i started the hobby that i can picture what i would like what i would actually do to him or customize him as so i thought i'd give it a shot or at least buy the doll so i have the chance to so he was in stock i thought i gotta do this so i ordered him and then i said this is like a super eight minutes already. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is all over the place. Um, so then I said, shipping-wise, UPS sucks around here because for some reason my address is not on GPS depending on what format you use. So like if you use the old, like what was it, Garmin versus TomTom, Tom, one or the other didn't work. So I think the Garmin does not find me and the TomTom Tom does. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know cell phone wise what's going on but for some reason UPS cannot find my address and they send my stuff either 30 miles north to a town that I've never lived in or it goes straight back to where I got it from like they'll they'll attempt to drop it and there's nowhere to put it because I don't live there and then they send it back so I've had quite a few things sent back because they can't find me and Usually when they ship bigger dolls from Junkie Spot, they use UPS. And I think he emailed me, and I think they've since changed that to FedEx. But I don't like FedEx either because that is the only time I've ever gotten a broken doll was from FedEx. And I don't know if they did it or if it was because of how the doll was strung when it was shipped. But it was the only doll that I've received that's been broken. So I don't trust FedEx anymore. So I asked him, hey, would it be possible, because they ship the 40 centimeter dolls by you by uh, postal mail a priority mail so I'm like is there any chance that I could get it sent to the post office I'm willing to pay extra 
because I know they will hold it for me. They will call me as soon as it arrives and usually they have me sign for it to make sure I pick it up. And he agreed. So I think it was like $10 more, but it's worth it because I was for sure knowing I'm going to get it. You know, my package will arrive. It'll be safe. Hopefully unbroken. I don't know yet. I haven't opened him. I took him out of the main box because of all the little peanuts because the junkie spot really packs them good and puts the foam peanuts in, but I didn't want to make a mess all over my bed. So I opened them kind of already. So, um, yes. So anyway, he agreed to send them that way, which I was so happy. And then the next morning he had me confirm that, you know, the, what the price difference would be. It's like 35 bucks instead of 25 or something, which is doable, whatever. I love it. And then, uh, yeah. And then I agreed to it and he's like, I'll send you an invoice. No big deal. Got home from work, paid it on Friday. So Thursday I emailed just on the off chance that I could get them. Friday I already had them paid for. And then I'm like, oh good. So it'll, I didn't count the weekend. I'm like, it'll be here like Friday. Cause it takes like four days usually from one of the coasts to get to me. And I got a tracking number already by Sunday and he was here today. So I'm like, how did it ship over the weekend? Normally stuff doesn't ship on set on Sunday. So I am shocked this is here. But I'm happy because today happened to be my kind of day off. I had to run all my errands and do stuff else, other stuff. And I broke these glasses and had to run in and get them fixed. But it was okay. It was okay because I also uh, fixed my grandma's glasses. So got everything fixed. So that's why I'm home late. <laughs> I just got to 11 minutes in to tell you that I'm going to finish opening him so if you guys want to skip the first 11 minutes of this which i will put in my description because i am <laughs> i'm so used to not to not being doing videos it's driving me crazy because i don't know how to do them anymore but uh so he arrived today and i already kind of opened them and emery always sends cool stuff so i got another dvd which i haven't watched the other one yet because i'm out of time but this one looks kind of cool and it's got Korean subtitles, so I might recognize some of these actors because I am into Korean stuff lately way too much. <laughs> so this is really cool. I'm excited about that. And uh, I don't know what the title is because um, I'm bad at reading. And then here's the, the box, the inner box. And they always send other cool stuff too. And when he always sends cool stuff. So what else we got here? There's like a little Happy Tree Friends thing. I actually used to watch this on the internet. It's very violent, but it really is cute. Um, and Warheads, which are super sour. And that's kind of cool. He always sends candy. Candy necklace. Yay! I like the extras. That's cool. My invoice which I will tuck away. What's this? More warheads. A little eraser guy. It's a little frog, I think. Yep, eraser, frog, and duck. This must be the frog. And the lighting, again, is horrible. I'm using my alternative thing yet because I do not have a decent... <gasps> what is this? Mints? This is really cool. It's like a, there's a cat on there. Yeah, they're mints. Emilyofstrange.com. This is a really cute little... Oh, when these are gone, I'm going to use this for a prop, maybe. That could be like a little luggage thing for a prop. I'm sorry. I should just get to the doll, but I'm like fascinated by this cute little... There's a little clasp, even. It's got these weird little red mints inside, which I don't know, but that's kind of cool. I like that. I've never seen this before. See, he sends such cool stuff. It's like, where does this stuff come from? Okay. Main event. Oh, and then the Junkie Spot cards, which has my favorite on them. I use these as bookmarks because, uh, so go to the website. They still have more in stock. I'm just going to promote them because hey they're freaking awesome um anyway i like using these as bookmarks 
Especially when they have my favorite scalp pattern, which is the Red and Soul song. Okay, the the Moo. This better be I better be saying the right guy. Baboby Moo. Baboby Moo. This is Baboby Moo. In normal skin. He's got horns. That's what these are. You guys are probably like, what is wrong with her? She Where'd I put my scissors? <laughs> I promise. There's nothing wrong with me. I just haven't made a video in so long. I just ramble on and on for 15 minutes about nothing. And I'm finally opening him. Oh, these are so freaking cool. Oh, that stinks. Like resin. And they're polar opposites, so boop. Check it out. I freaking love horns. These are so cool. Look at that. That's why I like the Ming. And I did have one at one point. Like when I, earlier in the hobby. And I got him just after I got my song. And the girl that I got my song from said, Oh, I love that sculpt. And it was the right color that she wanted. And she really, really, really wanted one. And I'm like, well, you don't have to wait if I send you this one. So technically, it was more like a trade. It's more like we traded her song for mine. Because I ended up, even though mine was new, I, uh sent him for what I paid for my song so hey oh my god you guys so I uh yeah so technically I have sold a doll but it was more like a trade because I knew that since she had oh my god guys oh no don't no the head cap was loose and I just kind of dropped it so I've never seen oh I suppose there's magnets inside to hold the horn. That's what this is. There's an extra little piece there. I don't know why it wasn't attached, but that's okay. I hope the fact that... Are they supposed to be loose? Or doesn't it matter? Do they kind of follow the... Ah, I get it. I get it. Okay. They're supposed to be loose because they follow the horns. Which are not supposed to go on like that. There we go. That's freaking cool. Ah! Okay, guys. Back to this. But anyway, like I was saying, she already had plans for it, and I'm like, okay, so technically it'll be more like a trade, which is fine. So she just pretty much sent my money back, and I sent her the other one. And Not that I didn't like the doll, but I knew she would do more with him, because she already had a plan and a character. And oh my god, you guys. He is so freaking cool. I'm going to poke my eyes out on his ears if I get too close. <laughs> Check him out. Oops. I feel like a total newbie. It's been so long. And I know that he's got, with his, his little feet here, they're kind of small, his hooves, which they look in proportion. But a lot of people say he's hard. it's hard for him to stand. So we'll see. He seems to be strung really well, though, which I'm glad because... I uh, don't, I still don't quite understand, oh, I love their, oh, I love their hands, you guys. I love resin soul hands, I do. They're so delicate, and yet, like, check that, that is so cool. Okay, um, restringing, what was I talking about? I still don't know, like, the right tension that you're supposed to have. Like, how tight is too tight? Especially with the arms and stuff. Because if they're too tight, they flop around, like, in. But if they're too loose, then the shoulders hang and they're just kind of bleh. But I've never gotten one perfect. So I don't know. I almost need someone to, like, send, or send it away to get it strung perfectly so I kind of grasp that, maybe. Because me just trying stuff hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just going to like super admire him right now because, oh my god, I forgot how, well, it's not like I forgot because I've never had an SD resin soul before, but oh my god, they're detailed as heck. And I love his hands, you guys. I don't know. People are, some people don't have very good things to say about these guys, but I freaking love his, he's got blue eyes in, but they're not like the super, the super shiny ones from the 
pictures on the site. So that's what I'm going to go for. I think the main focus of this guy is going to be super dark, like, smoky eyes, which I like his face up. It's kind of what I'm going for anyway, but I might have to tweak it so it's a little more dramatic. And then I want to uh, get him some really, really shiny, maybe even glow-in-the-dark eyes. That would be cool. And then focus the rest of his look around that because I want him to be really colorful. Oh my god. Okay, let me put... Ah, let me put this on. Okay, why is this... No, this was going so well. And then I got the tape stuck to this, and now there's a little mark on here. Why? Okay, why did I set this over on the tape? That's the question. Now the question here is, which way does the head cap go? Okay, there's a hook and a magnet on the head cap. So I need to do... I probably shouldn't have the horns on while I'm dinking around, or I'm going to end up breaking them. So the hook goes up above, which I am having a beast of a time. There we go. And even though he's got these long ears, right, check them out. They're super long, and they look very, very fragile. He was packed so well that... He did not break. Did I show you he was in his pillow? He was in his little sleeping bag thing, the normal yellow pillow. I even forgot how to do box openings. Like, <laughs> I was so excited to get this guy out because he's so freaking cool. Okay, I'm still not grasping these horns here. How am I doing this wrong? I still have to figure out which way to pull, which way I like him better. I think I like him like this the most front of the ears down instead of up or maybe like this there's so many possibilities <laughs> oh my god that is so cool he is so freaking cool so anyway I wish I could get him all on camera oh my god I'm so glad I went with him because, yeah, SD is, like, my size. I freaking, this doll is so cool. And check out his abs and stuff. 22 minutes. Sorry, guys. This is, like, the longest, rambliest thing you ever didn't want to watch. But if you're still with me, thank you. Because I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. This guy is so freaking cool. So, so, so kind of my, my idea for this guy, which... I'm going to have to figure out some sort of clothing situation, but I don't want him to be completely covered up because eventually I'm going to have to force myself to customize him and do his, you know, this furry stuff back here and he's got fur here and paint his hooves, which I think will hold him up just fine. Oh, he's so cool. I love this. Okay, I'm just like ooing and eyeing over him. He's, he's so freaking cool. And his legs do the cool. This bend. And then this bend. But a lot of people say he doesn't crouch stand like this very well. Maybe that's what he's supposed to do. Which is fine. Because he won't need to until I figure out what I'm all gonna, whoa, do. His body's a little learning curve here. Um, until I'm brave enough, which I need to be brave enough to do something because it's getting to be like really foggy fall type weather right now. And it's supposed to rain the rest of this week, I think. There's a chance for three days of rain. So if I'm gonna do anything with MSC, I've gotta do it because come winter, I am screwed. So I should try, try, try to get him, do something with him. But until then, even if I can't paint him or any of that, I need to make him a wig 
and I already know what I want him to look like there. So it's either going to be red and black, or if I can find the right eyes, because I kind of want his eyes to be like sunset color, like reds and golds, or like shimmery yellow, and then his hair will like be the accompaniment of that, so it'll match his eyes. So I can make him several different things, and just focus, the eyes will be like the focus, so his uh, coloring can change with the seasons, or with the moon phases, or with, you know, whatever. So, kind of cool. I'm so excited! <laughs> he is so freaking cool, though. These horns are, so, I'm gonna poke my eyes out on these, on these ears. The horns will move, because they're you know, they're on there. They're not, I'm not afraid they're going to fall or nothing. But these ears, man, these are super, super long. I'm going to end up poking my eye out. And if I do, it'll be worth it because he's gorgeous. <laughs> Look at how cool he is. So I'm going to go now. Pardon the nudity because I always seem to forget to cover the, the junkage. The, you know, the stuff. But yes, I love him. And I love the junky spot because they are very, very, very accommodating and since I know there's uh, at least four or five six more sculpts that I admire from everybody else's um, owner photos oh, my leg fell asleep I will probably be on there again and you'll probably see more box openings even though I should not do them I should not be ordering more but I'm hoping he will be the the um reason why not the reason. He will be the... Oh, there goes the horn. I thought I couldn't drop him, but I did. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I keep fiddling with him. I gotta just leave him alone. Maybe maybe this one goes on this side. Maybe I got the polarities all junked up here. Now we're cooking. Is there a right and left horn? Is that a thing? Because I might have to mark these. Because for some reason... Oh, it says two. For some reason, they hold better like this. This side holds better. Now it's doing it again. Whatever. I'll figure it out. I kind of like them up like this, though. I'm going to keep talking and fiddling until this is like an hour long. So, what was I saying? I'm hoping he breaks the customizer block that I have with all the rest of my dolls. Because I really, really want to start like painting them myself or if not you know painting them completely at least getting an idea of what they look like so I can send them off and get them looking like they should but this guy I want to customize myself because he is so cool and this body I think is the hooved version of the this is the gang body so I might have to try some of my other heads and see if the neck spit and I might be hybriding onto resin soul bodies because I love the hands and I love the lankiness, the thin yet muscular frames of these guys because they're tall and lanky and super cool. I love this body. But the hands, you guys, are so nice. Oh, okay, guys. I'm going to stop now and it just admire him probably and not go to sleep and I work tomorrow and oh, I can't even do anything tonight. God, he's cool. Um, I'm gonna go because it's almost a half hour and why did I talk so long? I think I'm a spaz. And thank you for sticking with me. Um, I can't guarantee you when the next video will be because of work and my sister will be home. So I'll be doing stuff with her because I only see her like once a year. So at least for this month, I'm kind of booked, but just know I'm thinking of you all. I keep watching your videos, and they really cheer me up. So I'm watching everybody's progress. I want to be more active, but it's oh, until we get a workforce on deck that is sustainable, I'm going to be busy working and stressing about that. So, but until then, awesome, you guys. So if anybody else has any, um, has a Bobobi Moo <laughs> or Resin Soul Moo, whichever one he is. It says Resin Soul on his head, so he's a Resin Soul. 
Um, if anyone else has one of these, let me know because I'd love to see your photos of him because he's not very popular. His sculpt isn't very popular. I think on Instagram there was only like 30 some pictures, if that. Maybe only 19. One of them only had like 39 and one had 19. So I'd really like to see more photos of this guy because he's not very popular and he should be because check it out. <gasps> anyway, now it's officially a half hour and I should edit this, but it doesn't work on my computer. So sorry, you're going to have to hear my ramblies and hopefully, hopefully I can figure out how to get back to doing concise videos because I have not been able to do over, under, under, over, under 20 minutes lately. And that's too long. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good week. It's Monday ish monday and i will see you next time bye love you see ya Teet. i said